What is going on, comic fans? Welcome back to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today we're going to be looking at some of James Gunn's news surrounding the upcoming DCU and how any of it is supposed to make sense. Don't go anywhere. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Sure to check the links in all the description of my uh, videos for fantastic resources and this fantastic hobby from online retailers to cleaning, pressing, submission services, and my local LCS. If you don't have a place to pick up new comic books every week, link below, they can hook it up. They can be your long distance comic shop. They are, in fact, the community's comic shop. So let's get into it. Here recently, there's been a lot of news happening with comic books. I've done a video or two on it since NYCC, but one that's really notable is James Gunn's appearance at NYCC. He was there in person doing a panel with some of the cast and crew from the upcoming Creature Commando show set to premiere December 5th on HBO Max. It's the uh, first in the slated James Gunn's DCU. It's kind of the unofficial start since it is an animated TV show and he's reserving the official start for Superman, previously Superman Legacy. But this is actually the first installment from James Gunn. You know, he did do the Suicide Squad as well as the Peacemaker television show. And then they did the whole, uh, the whole announcement that James Gunn is taking over DC. They have DC Studios now. They redo the logo. Everything moving forward is going to be a fresh slate, or is it? And that's what we're talking about today in this video. You know, we had DC has been coming out in all sorts of ways since like the 1940s. But, you know, since really it was uh, the whole DCEU that kickstarted everything for DC Comics in like modern times. And we got the Zack Snyder stuff, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, the Justice League, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad. They tried the whole connected universe thing in it, and it was connected. You know, they were trying to uh, like ride that train that Marvel had like really kick started with the MCU. And now they pulled the plug and we're starting anew. You know, from the announcements, it initially started as some things will stay, some things will go, fresh start. Uh, actors started getting confirmed that they weren't coming back, this and that. And everyone's been wondering. What's going to stay and what's going to go? It gets confusing because you see James Gunn did Peacemaker under the DCEU. He did Suicide Squad under the DCEU. And we have a Peacemaker Season 2 coming that's under the new brand. We have Creature Commandos coming with the Rick Flagg character featured in it. Well, we had Rick Flagg in the old stuff, but he gets into it. He talks about it at the panel. And one of the biggest things that confuses people is how are we going to have a Peacemaker Season 2 when the actual Justice League showed up at the end of Peacemaker Season 1? Well, all those questions were answered, and we have some stuff to chew on, because while they were talking about the P, uh, the Creature Commandos, they were asked, he was asked, like, do we have to do any homework before watching this? This is the literal first DCU project, so what are we supposed to watch going into it? And he uh, said that we want people to be able to come into this totally blind and they're going to be totally excited by it. Meaning there's no homework involved. You can go watch this upcoming Creature Commandos and get everything you need from this show. So that, that's the start. And then it leaves us wondering, well, what, what in the past counts? What still matters from the past? And he says, we learned that a lot of other things, uh, we learned that other things that have happened in the past and other media still happen. So he confirms that everything is not being written off. Everything's not going away. And that's kind of where we started with this whole thing. So it leaves us with what matters and what doesn't matter. And that's when he actually hit the nail on the head with one thing he said. He said, there are references to things that happened in the past. And those references then become canon in the DCU because we mentioned them. So that kind of gives us our method, our motive of how we're going to see what is and isn't canon. We're not being given a list. It's not saying go watch Peacemaker season one because I made it and all that matters or go watch the Suicide Squad, same reason. It looks like we're going to be getting certain specific things from it where you can kind of leave the past behind. It's almost like very comparable to comic books themselves. You know, like these characters like Superman and such have been around for so long they have a long running history and their origins have been retold. Uh, they've refought similar villains from time to time. And when you're reading a modern book, you might get a little editor's note that says, see this issue of Superman because they're building on that specific occurrence that that specific time. Like look at Batman. Batman has an origin, but Frank Miller's Batman year one from the eighties is his definitive origin story that 
the readers, the fans that have kind of just picked up and ran with. So it looks like we're getting like a movie universe version of that in the sense that when they mention it, that's what we build on. If they mention that like Peacemaker uh, did this, you don't need the whole show. Just remember that, that little piece of it. So I'm not thinking that we're going to have too big of continuity issues. The Suicide Squad kind of stood on its own in a lot of ways. And the biggest one is Rick Flagg died in that at the hands of Peacemaker. Joel Kinnaman's character who had played Rick Flagg in two separate films died in that. And that carried over into the Peacemaker television show. It was a crucial part of Peacemaker's whole story arc is how the uh, how that all backfired and how he felt internally about that and getting over that. And that's where we get into something that's interesting because he did mention that Rick Flagg's character will be one of those connecting pieces because in the Creature Commando show, we have Frank Grillo playing Rick Flagg Sr., which is Rick Flagg's father. So in this show, in Creature Commandos, is supposedly where he's going to learn that his son died. Creature Commandos will be picking up not long after the events of the Suicide Squad film. So that's our first connected tissue right there. And that's pretty cool that they're using this Rick Flagg Sr. character because it's great for one to have a Rick Flagg back. But for two, we already know that Frank Grillo was confirmed not just for this a voice acting gig for Rick Flagg Sr., but he's also already been seen on set and set photos and confirmed for the Superman film as well. So he's going to be our first actor that we have confirmed that is carrying a role from the animated part of the DCU to the live action part of the DCU. So these are the kind of references that he's referring to. So when he learns that, who knows where that character will go from there. But if I'm not mistaken, he was confirmed to be on set for Peacemaker season two. So maybe... He has a bone to pick. So it's really, it's really, it's, it's, it's easy to say it's that simple, but it's really going to be about the execution. How are they going to play this out? What is it going to look like? How far will this go? Something like Superman clearly looks like it has no references to what came before whatsoever, just based on like the age of Superman, uh, kind of the, the looks of the costume. It really looks like it stands on its own merits. And that's also another video that I'm going to be working on next about uh, the tone of Superman and the rest of the DCU, which I think is very important for the success of this franchise. It's got an uphill battle to climb, you know, with the general audience not necessarily coming out like they have over the last few years for these superhero projects. It used to be a layup, but now they got to work for it. I think James Gunn's definitely working for it. It was good stuff that we heard from New York Comic Con. Leave me a comment down below. I wonder how many people are actually getting excited for the Superman movie. I've gone through the whole range of emotions from excited to cautiously nervous to indifference and i'm kind of come back around to excite it's like processing and just getting used to it i'm definitely ready for the trailer to really get an idea but in the meantime we do have creature commandos airing december 5th on hbo max so be sure to check that out i'll definitely be talking about it here on the channel so if you want somewhere to come talk about it sunday nights at 8 30 i kick off my live stream where we do just that until next time as always i'm mark but we are legion